Hey, hey, Crips here, and welcome. There you go, I said it, welcome. Okay, what am I doing today? I thought I might explain to you what does materials, texture, and bump maps do. Okay, so let's get moving. So right now I have the text track, and as you can see, I do not see these options. The reason is it only works on uh, objects. So let's create a text, a extruded text track. And you're saying, you, you just said it won't work on text. And that is correct because extruded text is actually an object. I'm going to rotate this in such a way that you can see it a little bit better as I apply these different effects. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so now I have it. Look, materials, bump map, and texture. So let's go into materials. What is materials? Well, very simple. What is this object? made from what well, says here that this object is plastic so there you go that is what materials are i have different options of changing it to gold let's do gold and there you go now you'll notice that it only changed the front face okay and also and i'll explain to you why i'm going to make the plastic so let me break this panel down for you face count how many faces do i have well i have four front bevel side and back so when I apply the plastic, I originally, I, uh, the gold, sorry, I only applied it to the front face. So the more faces I have open, the more control I have. If I only have one face, basically I'm saying that this object only contains one face. Yet we can see four, but now I'm telling Boris, no, no, it's one. So let's do the same thing again, apply gold. And now it applied to everything because I've only got one face. Okay, so that's what it does. And then I can change the different colors of my gold. The intensity, the shininess, you know, like do I want more shine on my gold? Yeah. All right, so you can play with how you want your gold to look. I'm gonna go back into four faces. All right. And I'm gonna do something pretty cool. I'm gonna do, 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 do. make this gold as well. Okay. So now I've only applied the gold to the front and to the side. Well, look what I can do. See the bevel track? I can actually delete that track as well. Watch this. Now I don't actually have the bevel track, it's gone. So I have a little bit more control or I can control my object a little bit more. If that's the effect I'm after, well, that's it, I've done it, okay? And there you go. And like I said before, these controls is how much you want color, shininess and reflectiveness. Okay, and that's it. That's what materials do. I'm going to go change it all back to plastic so we can follow it easier for the next tab. Mm, textures, here we go. All right, textures. Again, as you can see, I have four tabs. But this it works in slightly reverse. I can't delete the textures. I can only add it. So I've got a face count of four. So therefore, again, I have four tracks, and I can also make it one. So whatever I do, I can apply it to the whole object or parts of the object. I'm going to leave it at four. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to open up Crips. There is my word text. Now, if I cr uh, turn it on by place, placing an X, voila, I suddenly have a new uh, texture track in my timeline, and I can do that to all four. Let's do that. So there you go. Now I have four new media tracks in my timeline. So see how it says, oh, sorry about that. See how it says a V1? Well, with textures, I can change what is on the actual uh, object. I'm gonna go to the first one. So this says front texture, left click, and I can add a natural media to it. So here we go, natural media. And by default, it's always the wood grain. So now I've added wood grain to the front. If I go back to grips, I'm still in my texture track, go to one, now I've applied it to all of the words because, or faces, because I've created one face, okay? I hope you understand that. Let's go back, and let's go back into my texture track. Like I said, I can change this to each one of them or just one of them, it's up to you. And I can also add a movie file, so let's do that. And there you go, yes, it's a real movie file. 
I'll move the CTI along, and you can see the little movie only playing, remember this, it's only playing on the front face. So that's pretty neat. So you can make the video file just play on the side, or if you really want, just on the bevel, whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to create, okay? All right, let's keep moving. All right, I don't really want that movie file to be playing, so I am going to uncheck all of these because I don't want any different type of texture because I'm going to go to the bump map. All right, now the bump map is very interesting. It's kind of like the materials where I'm going to change what is the object made from or more or less I'm going to apply different materials on the object itself. And why is it called a bump map? Well, I can only conclude because when I add the materials to it or the bump, it's bumpy. Why? Because it's in 3D. All right, same thing, you need to highlight it, so let's do that. And as you can see, I have the word rock here. So my type of material or the bump that I've added to it is rock. And you can see that this rock is not a flat image file. It actually does look bumpy. And that is what bump map is. It's more of a 3D material. And you can do different things. You've got rock, reptilian, yeah, even that. It looks like a flat file, but trust me, that actually is depth in there. But rock I used mainly, oh, brick is another one, there you go. Rock is mainly easy to use to demonstrate what bump maps is. And again, the same thing, I can make it all of it. Yeah, not that I would, because that looks, that looks like really shitty elf oil wrapped around some lead or something. Anyway, and I'm back to four count. And the same thing, I can add it, different materials to the different face counts. So I can have rock on one, reptilian on the other, so forth and so forth. And again, these are the controls of the rock. Do I want more grain? Do I want less grain? Do I want more resolution? Do I want less detail of the rock? Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, that is what you can do with this here. And that, my friends, is what materials, textures, and bump maps do. It changes the way your objects look. And therefore, you can have a lot of fun with this. Now remember, uh, Boris is a very powerful tool. You can add as many filters and effects to an object that you want. And if you want to see some really cool stuff as well, go over to Freedom Earth Muth 1. He is also doing some really cool uh, Boris graffiti tutorials. And he's done a latest one with using the fireball and smoke effect on text letters. It's very easy to follow. And again, it's very, very interesting to see what Boris graffiti can actually do. And as always, you guessed it, thanks for watching.